There's never been a more exciting time to be a creator, especially if you make long-form video or run a podcast. The tools we have now let a solo person do what used to require a small team, and honestly, it's wild. I used to work with an agency where five people spent weeks on a single episode. Now I can run the whole thing solo in under two hours, and the best part is the post-production and distribution are almost fully automated. I want to walk you through how I do pre-production, production, and post-production, so one long episode turns into a content waterfall that feeds social, blog, newsletters, YouTube, Patreon, whatever you want to feed. Quick intro. I'm Dan. Friends call me Dans. And I make all of this work with a mix of a few clever tools, some automation, and a new AI-first clip editor called Vizard that changed how I think about content output. If you care about getting more mileage out of every conversation you record, stick with me. Good distribution starts with a clear angle. For guest interviews, I use a lightweight showrunner workflow, basically a little custom prompt engine setup that pulls someone's public profiles and turns that research into episode angles, titles, and a tight outline. It takes a LinkedIn or website URL, scrapes bios, recent posts, company pages, and then gives me four to six distinct angles to approach the conversation. That matters because the more specific the angle, the better the guest can prepare and the more focused the episode becomes. I don't use it for my solo episodes, I just jot bullets and ideas. But when you bring on a guest, it saves me 30-45 minutes of prep instantly. That same pre-pro tool will spit out title candidates and a segment-by-segment -segment outline. Intro, three main segments, and an outro. I pick an angle, tweak a title, drop in any particular questions I want to ask, and send a copy to the guest so they can be prepped. Investment here, 10 to 15 minutes for a guest episode, and you already have a blueprint for repurposing later. Do this part right, and everything downstream gets easier. I record on a remote video recorder that captures high-resolution local files. You want local recordings, not just browser streams. This kind of recorder also gives a synced video stream so I can see the live layout, but the key is the high-res file that I'll use later. Typical session, invite guest, hit record, optional local backup recording, and you're good. Keep the recording flow simple. It's the conversation that matters. Fancy audio tricks won't fix a boring episode. This is where Vizard really earns its keep. If you're doing video podcasts, Vizard is what turns that 45 to 60 minute conversation into 30 ready to post clips without needing to sit there and manually chop everything up. Vizard analyzes the full recording, identifies high energy moments, punchlines, teaching points, and emotional beats, then generates short form clips optimized for each platform. It's not random, it scores segments by engagement potential and then creates platform sized edits. Vertical for TikTok, square for Instagram, landscape for YouTube shorts if you want, with clean cuts, text overlays, and captioning. Tell Vizard how often you want clips to go out and it will schedule them automatically. You pick cadence and channels and the AI cues them. No more making a thousand manual posts or remembering to post later. Everything lives in a calendar so you can preview, tweak or rearrange content. Need to push something back because there's a bigger news hook next week. Want to rerun a top clip next month? Compare that to the old way. You'd export an MP4, import into a clipping tool, guess what will work, add captions manually, export multiple sizes, then manually schedule across three to five platforms or pay to connect a separate scheduler. Tools like Descript or Riverside can do parts of that workflow and they're great for recording and editing, but they don't give you an end-to-end -end clip generation plus the scheduling plus calendar in one AI-driven flow. And some clip tools are pricey or require lots of manual cleanup. Visit automates the heavy lifting and still lets me intervene when I want to tweak tone or add a CTA. Back to the session. I get the high-res files from the recorder and drop them into Vizard or connect via an automation. Vizard scans the transcript, finds the best bytes, auto-generates captions, and exports platform-ready clips. I usually review the top 8 to 12 clips, tweak text or trim a beat if needed, and then either let Vizard publish them automatically or move them into the content calendar for scheduled posting. Post-production and distribution is where the rest of the magic happens. I wire up an automation tool. I use NA10 because it handles large video files cleanly to listen to my podcast RSS or a recording host webhook. When a new episode lands, the automation pulls the video, uploads it to YouTube, sets the thumbnail, and kicks off my content cascade. The recorder finishes the file and uploads it to cloud storage. The RSS host publishes the episode. An A10 detects it, downloads the master file, and uploads the long-form episode to YouTube. A10 also grabs my episode cover art. I design a 3000 x 3000 podcast square and then crop it automatically to a 1280 x 720 thumbnail for YouTube. That's a tiny but important step. You want a thumbnail that looks good both as a podcast image and as a YouTube CTA. An AN pulls the episode a page HTML to find the host generated transcript. A lot of hosts don't push the raw transcript into RSS, then cleans it with a large language model and turns it into a blog post draft. That blog post draft is gold because it gives you accessible content for people who prefer reading or need captions for hearing accessibility. I usually let the AI publish it as a draft on WordPress, then I review for small formatting or context fixes and trigger it to publish. 
The post includes the embedded YouTube video, the transcript, timestamps, and resource links. Having everything centralized on my website is the best practice. It drives people back to a place I control where I can list all subscription options, sponsors, or CTAs. But I don't stop there. The automation also extracts three unique ideas or quotable takeaways from the transcript. Those become social drafts, typically formatted like LinkedIn posts because that's where my audience hangs out. And they're saved into Airtable. Airtable becomes my social cue. Each row is a post with text, image, tags, and scheduled date. I manually approve posts in Airtable before they go live, so nothing embarrassing slips out, but most of the heavy writing is done for me. I also use a tool like Cast Magic for interactive transcripts on the blog, a little chat widget that lets readers ask the episode questions and get AI-powered answers referencing the transcript. That's a neat engagement layer that keeps people on the page longer. Not every creator needs that, but it's worth exploring. Now, let's be real about limitations. Tools like Descript are amazing for editing and have an excellent overdub and transcript experience, but they're not built to auto-generate dozens of tailor-made social clips and schedule them across platforms the way Vizard does. Riverside and Zencaster are solid recorders, but they don't solve clip creation at scale. Make.com is simpler for some basic automations, but it struggles with huge video files unless you pay a premium. An A10 is more technical to set up, but it handles big files and gives you freedom. So what does Vizard actually replace? It doesn't replace your camera or your recorder. It replaces the person hours you'd spend combing through footage to find the juice, exporting multiple versions, adding captions manually, and guessing when to post. Instead of spending a day just on clipping, you get a content calendar full of platform-ready posts in under an hour, and the clips are usually higher quality in terms of engagement potential because AI picks the moments that statistically work. Mid-episode, try to hit concise, teachable moments. Those are the moments Vizard loves. Short, clear takeaway lines get clipped into high-performing shorts. Design the episode cover with repurposing in mind. Make a square that can be cropped to a rectangle for thumbnails without cutting important text. Don't over-edit the conversation. The value is the ideas. Heavy-handed edits can kill authenticity. Use automation, but always have a quick review step. AI is great, but it can hallucinate links or misformat HTML. A two-minute human check prevents weirdness. Finally, the ROI. One episode now becomes at least a dozen posts, a blog, a YouTube video, an email, and a handful of LinkedIn posts, all with minimal hands-on time. That consistent output is what grows channels, drives listeners, and fills feed algorithms. And when you don't need to outsource clipping to a freelancer or a full-time editor, you free budget to make better guests, better audio, or better thumbnails. If you're a creator juggling recording, editing, and distribution, give this kind of stack a try. Pre-pro research with a lightweight showrunner setup, a reliable recorder that gives you local high-resolution files, Vizard for auto-editing and scheduling, and an automation layer, N8N or similar, to sew everything together and push content to YouTube, WordPress, and your social queue. It's not magic where you still need good conversations and ideas, but it makes publishing predictable and scalable. If you want, I can share a deeper walkthrough of my NA10 workflow, the exact prompts I use to turn transcripts into blog posts, and how I format the Airtable social queue so you can plug it into your stack. This system changed the way I publish, and honestly, it made content creation fun again instead of a never-ending slog. If this was helpful, do me a favor, rate the show where you listen, leave a quick comment, or drop a question. Those tiny actions help more than you'd think. And if you're curious about Vizard or want a walkthrough of how I use it to turn one long interview into a month of content, say the word, I'll dig into the step-by-step -step next time.